everybody this is Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and if you have come across this video then this message is for you. Before we get started if you would like a personal reading personal reading service with me just go to angelsouls444.com. The reason why these are really important especially now is to see where your pain is. What is blocking you? What are you coming up against? That way you can have some realization whatever's going on get the proper support and move through it. Again, that's angelsouls444.com. I am also, if you're watching this before June 6th, 2022, I am having a live session. If you're watching afterwards, don't worry, you can get the replay, but <laughs> it is June 6th, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, and we're gonna be talking about raising our frequency alignment, why it's also important, and setting intentions with the Archangels. Now that session will also go into why is it so important to watch what we're asking for basically <laughs> and what we expect from the Archangel. So you can be live face to face with me asking your questions, check it out. Details are in the description box and also get excited for the next session that I have coming up. It's actually a four part session where we're gonna be talking about connecting to Archangels. And again, you're gonna be working face to face with me so that we can connect. Michael, Gabriel, Raphael and Uriel. So we're gonna have four sessions just like that. Again, those tickets are available down below. Now I am picking out a couple of cards here. I'm gonna be putting out some extra content. One, people have been asking amazing questions that I want to address, but also I have been seeing something from the psychiatric community where there's a lot of content being put out there and I think it's just time to speak up. <laughs> I think it's time to say, whoa, whoa, pump the brakes there. So check out those videos when they go up. And finally, I am doing a newsletter. So I'm gonna be putting uh, my blog into action on my website. And then over at Substack, again, link is in the description box. I will be having not only chapters of the book I've been working on, Metronia, but I am going to be putting up some nonfiction about spirituality and a newsletter. So you can get over there and sign up for that as well. And of course, Patreon, if you just join for $1 a month, I know there's a lot. If you join for $1 a month, you get extra content. So extra readings, yes. Now I'm using mostly um, Archangel Michael cards for this week. At least I got three of them. Okay, so we'll, we'll pull from the other deck here in just a moment. So, before I even go into these cards, the cards that we have here, explore your options, believe and trust, forgive yourself, you've done nothing wrong. Here's what we have learned, and this is what I'm gonna be doing a lot of writing on. What have we learned through the pandemic? Now, this is not the approach of, let's just find the silver lining, let's find out how we, you know, no, 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 no. This was very real, and we're in for it. We're gonna have other things popping up around that things we never could have imagined. Now, you know, part of what that is, is that we're realizing, you know, maybe, maybe we weren't going as deeply as we could. Maybe we are still stuck in surface level arguments. Uh, so for some people, there's going to be shame coming up. And that's where this forgive yourself card comes in. And it says, I ask that you help me let go of self blame and forgive myself. Please guide me in releasing any toxic anger or fear toward others. Okay, that's important. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for allowing me to feel centered and at peace. So, again, there's a lot getting tossed around out there about what we should be afraid of, you know, what kind of action should we be taking. And this can have you in a scramble where it's like, again, check out that other video. I, I'm going to comment on what some psychiatric professionals I don't know what their exact titles are but some of the stuff that they're putting out there well we're gonna close that down <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna talk about that no 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 you don't get to tell codependent people that they are uh, borderline personality disordered people without even having met them yes that's I saw a video where that was occurring so we're gonna be talking about that but this is really realizing where you need to kind of give yourself more space more time for those of you who have been following me for a while, I got into this uh, habit of posting at 10 a.m. Mountain Time, at least, <laughs> uh, every Saturday. And it started to feel like pressure. And it felt like, no, the most authentic way I can do this is to take care of myself, meditate, which is what I was just doing. Meditate, get some sunshine, you know, whatever, and then sit down and do it. Don't feel so 
you know, attached to a schedule. That's not, that's not going to help anything, right? <laughs> okay. So I would encourage you to look at where you're being a little too rigid in your own life, you know, where you put too much pressure on yourself. So this says, believe and trust. Before going to sleep tonight, say, Archangel Michael, please enter my dreams and replace fear and faith. There's that thing there of fear. Uh, fear with faith and trust. Let me be filled with strength, courage, and confidence. So again, we're going to be seeing a lot of human stuff, a lot of stuff in our human experience where, uh, you know, for at least my generation, we were always taught to work really hard, you know, get the stability, get the house, have the car, you know, do all this stuff. And now we might be realizing that's not the most important thing in the world, right? I mean, it's important to have shelter, but do we really want to be you know, buying, I used this example before, do we really want to be buying a house in a market that is utterly ridiculous, just utterly ridiculous? So believe and trust that things, things are in a way that you can handle, okay? I don't want to sit here and be like, everything's going to be fine. No, <laughs> we cannot sit around and put our lives on hold. Again, put our human experience on hold, waiting for things to change because all they're going to do is change in the direction we don't want them to, Okay. You can't be a whiny baby about it. <laughs> kidding because I because I've been a whiny baby at, at certain times but we have to <laughs> we have to tap back in and make sure we're really recharging our batteries making sure see that's why I'm doing the live where we can keep the frequency high without being in denial without going into toxic positivity you know being ridiculous okay just to seem like we're above other people no but really doing it in a way that can help us and that comes with acknowledgement acknowledgement the biggest thing about spiritual growth and I say this all the time it cracks us open to what needs to be healed people think that it is uh, the panacea they think that it is the cure Spirituality is not a cure. It's a guidance system. Okay. It's, I guess you could say it's remembering yourself, remembering that you're not just this physical body. You know, there's so many other things that we could say about that, but I'm talking about as far as people approach it to be, you know, the thing that ends all bad things and that's not it. And when people come in here and they start doing their practice, a lot of times they may keep it on the surface level because they don't want to look at the deeper stuff. They don't want to look at what ails them, what makes them, you know, behave the way that they do out in the world. Where do they get this lens that they are, you know, perfect and or whatever, or, you know, using spirituality as another layer of mask to hide their narcissism. It happens, right? So where can we be more authentic and facing what comes up and looking at it and saying, okay, maybe I am codependent or you know what, maybe, I, I do have a lack mentality and it's not about blaming. It's not about looking at your family and going, you know what? They, they made me believe that and it's none of my fault whatsoever. <laughs> it's not that it's looking at it and going, okay, can I, first of all, is that really how I believe and can I change it? And the answer is yes, of course you can. Now I've had people ask me if they could change their soul's contracts. That's a whole other video. Comment down below if you would like me to do a video on that. And of course, liking and sharing and subscribing is always super helpful or just hit like, that's good enough. I don't know. <laughs> as long as you do that, we're good. Then we have explore your options. Dear God, thank you for your wisdom and love, helping me see, understand, and assess all the all of my alternative options. Please guide me in the best direction for my health, happiness, and life's purpose. Now, here's the deal. We are learning, as I was saying before, the approach to spirituality. It's not wrong if you go and you start to meditate and then you come out and you start having all these epiphanies and you realize what you got to work on. You realize what you have to release, what needs to be healed, you know, all that kind of stuff and getting proper support to do that. One of the things that people do, again, they will treat spirituality and spiritual practice like it is a substitute for therapy. It's not, it's not, you have to treat the mental body, but always be discerning about what kind of therapist you're going to. Again, I will talk about all of that in the other video. But this is exploring your options for healing, for showing up in this world. This is where a lot of our goals have started to shift and change, where we're realizing, you know, maybe having the most money, maybe that's something that maybe you're very materialistic and you associate that with making it. And now you realize, nah, I just want to grow lettuce. I'm using that as an example because I'm growing lettuce. <laughs> I've got a whole garden going on on my balcony. Um, you know, I just want to be happy. What is my true source 
of happiness. And if you try to use your brain, here's a little hint. If you try to just use your brain alone, you're not gonna, you're not gonna hit the mark. Okay. That brain has been conditioned. <laughs> it has been, you know, if you want to see it as manipulated or whatever, but there's a lot of things going on that come at us and make us think that we have to live a certain way in order to be happy. And maybe for you, it's going, you know what? I, I've i been seeing a lot of these uh, TikToks where women who are my size, you know, they're plus, well, I, I hate using that term plus size, and that's so 90s, but... <laughs> But that's, you know, they, they're my size and they're doing this whole thing of wear it, wear the crop top, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? And that, that is something, you know, like breaking through some of those very surface level egotistical barriers that have been put in place, right? And, and thinking for yourself and really tuning in, going a little bit deeper, getting into that heart space, right? And going, what will really make me happy? I, I feel good in these clothes or I feel good just going for a walk. Maybe I don't need to go conquer a mountain today. Maybe a walk is good enough, you know, or whatever. So this is switching that and not going after the things that you're just doing just for validation or to try to prove yourself to someone who probably is never going to approve of you anyway. Let me say that again. We often work for a lot of approval from people who are never going to approve of us in the first place. Leave it. Don't put energy into that, right? <laughs> forget them we don't <laughs> we don't need this not oh I dropped a card y'all okay so I'm a mess here I dropped the card knocking things around anyway I got the card ready it is the chariot so we are ready to start moving ahead and even if we don't have the best plan in place we don't have the strictest you know mapped out outline of what our lives should look like we're going to just start taking steps let's just you know try something and see if it works let's just put this into place and see how it goes right for some of you out there this might be taking chance uh, taking a chance on a love partner but be careful okay well, we can't overlook that there are in fact not so healthy people out in the world this is archangel metatron listening to your intuition determination and self-control career advancement acknowledgement of success by others again there's that need for validation so let's watch that let's pay attention to where we're kind of again going after things just to prove ourselves right <laughs> and realizing it doesn't make you happy but also we have very real you know talking about human experience we have very real economic things going on and i comment down below how you're experiencing this I am baffled. I, I've never had to take on so many writing assignments just to make up for the really weird rent increase. And, you know, obviously everything is more expensive. And it's just kind of like, I know for me, I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> like, what, what is this? But I do feel things are definitely going to be changing. That's why I'm trying to get all of us prepared here. So you're, he you're heading forward, you're moving into a certain direction. Uh, for some of you, again, this might be a whole change in career, but you're just going to try it. You're just going to try and see uh, what comes of it. Now, again, please make your spiritual practice a daily thing. Not in the way where, <coughs> excuse me, not in the thing where I've shared with you guys before, if you followed me, I used to live in New York City. And I would go to yoga class quite often. I was really into yoga. Sometimes I would do it twice a day because I went to one class with one friend and went to another with another friend. But the competition was stupid. Okay, it was just stupid. I literally was in the class with the Lululemon ladies and one, one woman was next to me and she's super bendy and she's like, you know, got her foot over her head. And I'm like... <laughs> What is even happening? I came here for peace. This is not peaceful. I feel like I'm supposed to run some sort of rat race, but under the guise of this spiritual practice. See that, we don't want to go down the fake road. And that might be what is making some people crumble right now because they realize all of that practice wasn't for nothing. It's teaching you, you didn't take it seriously. Okay, the next card, speaking of, the moon, intuition. This is Archangel Haniel, so this is the Divine Feminine. The opportunity to improve your plans. <laughs> I was just saying. The opportunity to improve your plans, listen to your intuition for accurate guidance, face your fears, and grow stronger. So things are not going to be turning out the way that we had anticipated, the way that we think they should be. They're going to be turning out in the way 
they're going to be turning out in the way that we are growing into. That's, that's the big part of this. We need to grow into this next phase, this adjustment for humanity. All right, so let's get a color card. As I was saying, I'm going to be making other content. One of the other videos I'm going to be making will be our angels, the same as spirit guides, and are they always there or do we just not see them? We're going to be talking about all of that. So if you want to check that out, that will be up shortly after this one. Okay, we have, I love this card. We have Cyan, <laughs> just really love this guy. Build your confidence. The number is 35. Now, that makes me, it reduces to eight. So that makes me think of we're infinite beings. It's the number of abundance. But this is saying, you know, build your confidence by releasing control. Speaking of New York, sorry, New Yorkers, but some of you are really neurotic, okay? <laughs> but that it's this control because you're so fearful of things not, things slipping away and you won't have a chance to react to it or respond to it or someone's going to get you so you have to get them first, you know, that sort of thing. It's very, you know, backbiting kind of energy. But this build your confidence says when you find your peace and your harmony right here, right inside of you, right? You hear about heart coherence all the time. Joe Dispenza talks about that. I think uh, Greg Braden too, right? Go look at some of their work. I mean, it's really amazing. And you know, get that heart and that mind online with one another. That way we're not chasing after things that won't truly make us happy. How many of us are sitting there trying to make the most money we possibly can because we just want to make it with that big house. But then to get the big house, I know if I got a big house, all I'd be thinking is, you've heard me say this before, who's going to clean this mess? I can't even keep up with my one bedroom apartment, okay? But also, that's too many rooms that I don't know what's going on in there, you know? Like, <laughs> It could be a ghost. I don't know. <laughs> but no, seriously, like how am I going, if I'm one person, how am I going to monitor a whole house for security? Uh, that sort of thing. So we can have this turnover, this fresh start where we're not worrying so much about controlling because we know whatever comes up, we can handle it, right? We, we can handle it. If you are, you know, really in alignment, that's why I talk about alignment, right? <laughs> you're really in alignment. It doesn't mean that you're not going to feel down. Okay, one of the things that I deal with on a regular basis is depression and anxiety. I've been dealing with this for a very long time. I'm in therapy <laughs> to talk those things through and to find good coping mechanisms. And of course, I have my spiritual practice with that. So, you know, it doesn't mean that you're going to have a perfect life. I think a lot of people put their life on hold waiting for outside circumstances to be perfect. You'll be waiting a long time. You could be sitting at that bus stop forever. <laughs> The bus isn't coming, okay? <laughs> Let all of that go. We need to get into this space where we can release ourselves and, and allow ourselves to be comfortable in any way that we deem <laughs> comfortable, right, for us. Whether that is how you show up, you know, what you believe in, um, but just as long as you're being authentic to you, right? Not just going through the motions, treating life like it's it's an equation right and if i put this in i will get this answer that's not how it goes and we're learning that the hard way so we're gonna leave it there again if you like this video thank you for the thumbs up and i will see you in the next video take care